Buenos dias, YouTube. What's up with it? Good morning. Uh, so today is my nine months. Nine month lockup day. We made it. Finally here. Um, I don't know if it's today. Like today's the exact date that I hit nine months. But I know it's been nine months since I've had it. You know, YouTube tells me that. I haven't really been keeping track. Some people say keep track and that'll help you. Like it'll help you grow faster and whatnot. I don't. I don't keep track of that really. I mean, not that I don't keep track because obviously I know it's nine months. But I'm not looking at the calendar every single day in the mirror every single day trying to look at my hair growth you know when uh you first start looking back at it now it doesn't feel like a long process it feels like it was real quick but when you first start when it's day one in your locks you're looking at your mirror every single day looking for the most insignificant changes in your locks waiting for the them to inch out and whatnot but once you hit nine months You'd be like, damn, that was actually a real quick process. That was, that was like the fastest shit ever. Because nine months is gonna pass regardless. Nine months if you're trying to grow your hair or not, it's gonna pass. So if your hair is locked, it's gonna be a real quick nine months for you and it's gonna be real smooth. But before I jump into my hair, before I jump into exposing myself, I wanted to go back in time, take a little walk through back and uh, show my journey from the start in pictures. So I got a couple pictures from way back when in high school and whatnot from when before I even had an afro, before I even had big hair, puffy hair, before I had these locks, when I just had real short hair, we're gonna jump into that first picture, check it out. Like I said, obviously this one right here is from high school. This is back in my water polo days. Hence the reason my hair was so short. You can catch me all throughout high school with this haircut right here. Okay, if it wasn't this haircut right here, it was an afro. Swimming didn't really allow for no braids, swimming didn't allow for no dreads, so. That wasn't even a thought that crossed my mind anyways, because if you, the longer your hair is, the slower you're gonna go in swimming, right? So there was a point where I was actually bald. Me and my relay team went bald two years for CIF. So me and four guys, that was super dope. It was funny. Uh, but yeah, that's the, that water polo life, man. This next photo right here, this is taken in Louisiana. I went out in Louisiana and this is before I went to a lactation, because originally I was gonna do my dress myself. I was gonna, I just had a sponge. Just rubbing it on top of my head. I didn't have a towel, I had a sponge. And uh, I was gonna do a high top dreadlocks. So this right here, you can see the top, the crown of my head, kind of twisting up in itself, looking looking nice. I actually like that hairstyle a lot. I like when my hair was at that point. It looked real nice, it looked real dope. I could clean it up on the sides. And then I thought to myself, eh, let's do a full head of dreads. So I went out, got my lactation, found LaShonda, she hooked me up. This photo comes into play. This is in my day one video. This is just a screenshot of my day one video because I didn't take any pictures. I should have taken pictures, but you can see right here, micro twists, little micro twists, baby locks, starter locks, um, and they're just getting there. I remember I used to go into work every day. People would roast the fuck out of me, you know, because they used to see me in Afro and that's these little tiny ass locks. They're like, boy, you gonna get out of with that fucking tiny ass lock shit? Fucking you think you a rasta man? But I mean, I worked my way through it. People are gonna tell you shit in the beginning. Don't even worry about them. Don't even block the haters, you know what I mean? Don't worry about them. Moving forward, you see right here, this is when I was at the beach. I love going to the beach, rinsing my hair out on the beach. Uh, I meant to make a video of that, but every time I go on the water, my phone reacts to the water and it just shuts off and stuff like that, stupid. But you can see right here, my locks dangling. Got some length to it. It look real fresh, look real nice, I like this. Picture right here, you can catch that on my Instagram too. For USTM Phillips, by the way. And uh, yeah, not much to that. Moving even forward, you see that headband look? That's my favorite look right there, I done told y'all. That headband look, you pull your hair back with that uh, headband, bandana, whatever you got on that day. Real smooth, your hair flares out. It looks like a mane, it looks like a crown on your head. It's super dope. This picture was taken probably like a month ago or something. That's probably like eight months. And whatnot but yeah man it's been a long journey it's been a long uh i didn't drop an eight month video because i told you i like to show length and growth in them i think the last what was the last one i dropped like six months i think I'm not sure but uh yeah no it's been real cool real smooth every month that goes by i use less and less products i gotta do less maintenance to my hair uh they're fully locked i mean i got a couple i got a couple wild ones here that kind of struggling but it's all good, the time will come and it'll work its way out. But, let's get into my hair. Yeah. I know y'all been waiting to get back to my bathroom. I know y'all like something with me. Ha. 
So look, nine months on my hair. Uh, let's get to the review. There it is, so nine months, looking the same, I guess, I don't know. I got a bunch of new growth. One thing I forgot to mention downstairs, I have gone this whole summer without a single retwist. It's been three months. That's a summer, no retwist challenge. If you got it like that, then have it. But I, uh, I haven't touched my hair in three months. So, I mean, of course I've been twisting with my fingers and whatnot, but I haven't gone to get them interlocked or I haven't been to LaShonda in a minute to get the professional twisted. So, I just went this whole summer. I figured, just let me get some new growth in there and then come back to her with something. I used to go get them retwisted like once every two weeks. I know retwisting too often is bad. I know not retwisting hair often is also bad, but it's been three months and my hair doesn't look messed up too much. So check this out. Y'all can see, I'm gonna try to get onto the new growth and stuff like that. Let me bring that in for you. I know it might be blurry. Let me try to focus on it. But a lot of new growth coming into my hair. Oh, and then the Congo, the Congo in the back, chilling here. I know I told y'all we'll get back to this one. Look, that's uh, the three dreadlocks in one. That's what I put together. So let's take a look at that right now, actually. Let me take off this, uh, I'll put this link on there. This one is confusing. I don't know where this one ends. I'm gonna be sure, oh, look, I found it quick, quick. So, got my uh, little chain link on there. And I had the rubber bands. I started with three rubber bands. I took one out. I got a rubber band. Let me see. Right here and right here. So let me uh, let me just take this first one off. Let me take this first one off and see if this top section has started to lock on its own. Because if it has, then that's cool. And if not, they gotta wait a little longer. And that's whatever too. I can't get this rubber band off. There it is. So. Let's check this out. Let me try to get in good position. Uh, nah. I mean, I can feel it. I can feel it kind of. Nah. <laughs> it needs to wait a little bit longer. I need to crochet. I still haven't got a needle to crochet it, but this is the Congo I'm working with. I hope I got that in good viewing. I'm going to throw this rubber band back on. Yeah, that's the only Congo I want in my hair because I still want to be able to do braid outs and do different hairstyles and if your hair is too congo you can't really do too much of that so one and done for me let me throw this bad guy back on here if this rubber band is a snap this rubber band is about to break there it is so yeah congo just give it a couple more weeks it'll probably solidify it'll get stuck together run a crochet and get through it it'll be straight so yeah three months without a retwist it's been cool, and actually, the less and less maintenance I do, the more I like my hair, the more my hair just does its own thing, you know? Keep your hair wrapped up at night, obviously. I don't gotta tell you that anymore. And it'll just come to play. Whatever you want for your hair, you can do. I don't put no products in my hair. You see me put mango online, but that's about it. That's all I do for my hair. Other than that, just go out in the sun, just chillax. I went to the beach the other day, like I said. Got some ocean, got some seawater in my hair. That rinses your hair out, it cleans it. It helps it mat up, because when your hair is wet and you come out, especially with salt water, it's gonna dry quicker, it's gonna lock better. And yeah, let me see. Let me show you my locks that are my problem locks that are kind of irritating me. It's kind of more so in the front. It's kind of like these guys right here. You can see there's a lot of, a lot of new growth in this guy and they're real thin too they're real thin and at the end of uh, which this one right here, at the end it kind of balls up a little bit i don't know how focused that is let me see it kind of balls up at the end right here you see that i've noticed beforehand i used to cut those guys off right when they had the balling at the end i used to cut these guys off but now i just kind of let them rock out let them do their thing and they reattach themselves to the lock they attach themselves to the root, and it's all good after a while. It'll look like a regular dread, but I don't know how bad your hair might be, but that's just for mine. But yeah, other than that, hair is looking real solid. Congo coming into play. Three months without a retwist. I think I'm gonna probably go another two or three weeks without retwisting my hair, and then I'll go back to Lashonda and get my hair twisted up. 
So it's been all good. Not much else to it, man, you know what I mean? Growing these locks out, nice and steady. Jedi lock kind of hair. I don't know if I wanna dye my hair. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna dye my hair. I don't know. You might see me dye my tips later, later, later. Don't quote me on it, but I might. I like the jet black look. The jet black look is nice. Uh, my hair is coming down to my face. You know you reached a milestone in your locks when you can see your hair. When you can see your hair just by looking up like that, you know what I mean? You look dumb as hell looking up, but you can see your hair, that's a milestone. When your hair touches your ear, that's a milestone. When you can hit your hair in a ponytail, that's a milestone. So it's all good. Each month is different, treat each month differently. Some months might feel like you're not gaining any growth. You are, I'm sure of it. Wait, why is this one acting up? Get back on there, yeah. I'm sure your hair is growing. If you feel like your hair is too thin, because sometimes I feel like my locks are too thin, I'm not gonna lie to you. I see people with like some thick ass dreadlocks and I want that, but learn to love your hair. I love my hair. I love the thinness of them now. They're not really thin, like they're not the thinnest dreadlocks. They're not rice dreads or anything like that, but they're, uh, they're not like the thickest either. So that's cool with me though. I like this, I'm a skinny dude, so I deserve skinny dreads. Oh, it's all good, and then you get the shake, another milestone, you know what I mean? I won't waste on a shake, so. That's it for me, YouTube, that's my nine months. Thank y'all for rocking me. I appreciate all y'all that subscribe. I think I got 180 now, that's a blessing, so thank y'all for watching. Everyone that likes, everyone that drops a comment, interact with me, everything, I love that, so. I'm out of here, YouTube. I'm about to go to the beach again. I should probably, I should probably film that. I should probably film that if I do go in the water. So I'll let y'all know. I'll come back at you with more videos. I'll holla at y'all. ADP out. Yeah.